All right, River City Live fam, you were introduced to Jason Payne a few weeks ago when we brought him and his co-host on to talk about their Cup to Cup podcast. Well, I know Jason as a stellar video producer, and I met his wife, Emily, and you guys are such an awesome, positive couple. So thanks for hanging out with me a little bit. Thanks for having us, bro. So uh, we're just going to hit really briefly on why we're here. You guys put something together that is definitely up for public consumption, but we don't want to put it all out there. So just give a little teaser. Uh, yeah. So um, I pranked Emily play plenty of times. Anybody who follows us knows that. And then I also prank my mom a lot. And so she's been wanting this big thing to happen uh, for years. And so I've been thinking of a way of when it happened, how to tell my mom. So I came up with this elaborate idea and scheme uh, had a cop get involved and then um, it worked out. Like, I'll be honest, most of my pranks never work out. There's something that like happens and blah, blah, blah. This one worked out perfectly. Everything went exactly how it was planned. Um, and it took only like four cameras. So it's perfect. And he's been planning this out for the last probably three years. <laughs> I don't know where this idea came from, but I would be surprised if this didn't happen. So yeah. I'm yeah. happy that it worked out. All right. So we're going to put it up now. Let's take a look. Posts? Yeah. That's fine. Palm trees? Yeah, I don't know if I can do can that or not. Can you burn those? Fine, you can burn that, but as far as a palm tree, uh, you bug. How about you? No. Hey. I always wanted to be famous. Josie Wales is my name. Uh-oh. We'll do the karaoke stuff right right by the bridge. What bridge? Where am I uh, going? I'll tell you. Just keep going. Um, You've been out. You've left. You can't drink and drive, Mom. I'm drinking water. <laughs> 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 Fair? Uh, let's keep going. Oh, <laughs> gotta go to the girl's room. Is that you? Um, yes. Really? Yeah, just, pull, just pull in the church. What the f am I getting pulled over for? I've never been pulled over oh, with my mom in the car. I just asked you if you had a tail light out. No. So make sure I no, I don't have anything. Just stop right here. Stop, stop. I am. He's right behind me. Huh. I had this happen to me on my mind too. Jesus, Jesus forgive me. <laughs> um, God help me. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. Have you have a license and registration with you? Yes. Mm. Oh, don't <laughs> that's not it. It's a little black book. You have a little black book? I can't. I can check it just by your license. Oh, there you go. I figured it. Yes. Yeah. You pay your bills? <laughs> I can look it up. I can write that. I can write that. Okay. I can't believe you got pulled over. <laughs> you should, I just said that. <laughs> I didn't do anything. You should have knocked on the fake wood here. <laughs> I'm sure she'll tell you when you come back. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Pain. Yes. It's pain. Are you familiar with Florida law in reference to having a vehicle driving and the child not being in the car seat? Yeah, I don't have a child. Hmm? No. No. What's your mom? I mean, I got. Oh, well, if you want to call my husband my child. <laughs> yeah. Are you husband? Yeah. yeah. He yeah. is I'm, really I'm, my I'm, child. Yeah, he I, really I, is. If you person. really want to be honest, we've been together for 35 years and he and no 37. He, he maybe is my you child. Want to, but yeah. here's. Oh 
<laughs> okay, so uh, anybody that doesn't know, Jason did talk about pranking earlier, but you take it to extremes. <laughs> I, I got to give the props to the cop. I, I don't want to say her name, um, but she, without her, none of that would have happened. And I have to have, actually give her props on the idea of the sign that she showed up, the little basically ticket that said my mom was going to be a grandmother. Because my original idea was just to get the, um, the cop to say something about like, uh, you didn't have a car seat for the kid, that's illegal. And she and the cop said, hey, look, I, I want to be honest with you. I think that's going to go over her head. She's not going to like, it's not going to click. So let me come up with like a, a, a fake ticket. So without that fake ticket, I would have never got that ridiculous reaction out of my mom. And <laughs> I have to be honest, that was the most genuine um, response uh, ever. It wasn't staged. Uh, my mom has seriously been wanting to be a grandmother since ever. So it was huge. It was like a conversation, like the first day that she met me. So yeah, yeah, I've been yeah. waiting for this for like seven years. Emily, if anybody follows Jason on social media, they would see that he has put you through a lot of your time <laughs> together. And this is one of the few times where you actually get to be a part of it. So what was it like for you? It was amazing. And I feel like it will probably never happen again. So I'm going to just soak it in. <laughs> And, you know, wait till I'm the butt of the, the prank next time. So. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I think we're going to get a little bit of a <laughs> oh, And while I'm thinking about congratulations, totally left that part out of it. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. You have raised the bar for a lot of people, brother. So uh, good luck, you Jacksonville, trying to emulate <laughs> that. Congratulations to you two. All the best. And uh, we'll still keep checking into that Cup to Cup podcast as well. Thanks, man. I appreciate you guys having us, man. Absolutely.